In a futuristic alternate universe, hyperconsumerism and inadequate junk disposal have turned the Earth into an uninhabitable wasteland. All plant species have gone extinct due to the harsh conditions, and water sources are all dried up. Tons of non-degradable garbage litter the planet and have rendered it unsuitable for humans. Due to these extreme conditions, everyone vacates the dying planet and boards a massive mothership known as the Axiom. The Axiom is sturdy and reliable as it houses all humans in space. The gigantic aircraft boasts various basic and luxurious facilities, including beaches, spas, and a tremendous amount of food. At their departure, the humans leave an army of robots to dispose of the accumulated waste when they're gone. These robots commence their hectic clearing task and keep at it for years. Centuries later, most of the machines become inoperative, leaving but one remaining robot named Wall-E. Over the years, Wall-E continues his task and judiciously bundles the pilling waste for easy disposal. One evening, after a hectic workday, he finds a friendly cockroach and takes it to his shelter. The shelter is an unorganized dump filled with numerous robotic spare parts and unique items, which the cyborg finds interesting. On getting home, he puts a tape on his media player and watches the video on TV. Wall E spots a human couple holding hands and enviously stares at them as he wishes for a companion. Seconds later, Wall E gets distracted when he notices a sandstorm approaching from a distance. He quickly locks his shelter and packs up as he retires for the night. The next day, the robot continues his daily routine of compiling garbage, but is soon distracted when he finds a budding plant. Wall E is astonished to see the seedling, as this is the first plant the planet has had in centuries. He carefully picks up the bud and immediately returns it to his shelter. There, he spots a moving red light and is fascinated by the object. Wally -E chases after it and ends up in a desert as an unknown spaceship lands on the ground. The aircraft drops off a strange looking pod and swiftly blasts off to the sky as it returns to its original location. Wall E suspiciously watches the pod and is shocked to see a fellow robot named Eve emerge from it. Eve is a chic robot with an updated, classy exterior, and Wall E instantly falls in love with her. The new robot is feisty and shoots laser blasts at random objects at the slightest provocation. However, Wall E remains enthralled and tails her from a distance. He watches her through the day and soon realizes that she's searching for something. Eve spots and scans multiple items, but can't seem to find what she's looking for. Curious, Wall E musters up some courage and approaches Eve as he asks about her search. Eve chats with him, but refuses to disclose any information about her mission. Wall E is bummed, but respects her boundaries, and the duo quickly switches topics as they continue their discussion. Minutes later, a sandstorm abruptly appears and hits the robots. Eve is immediately disoriented, but luckily, Wall E leads her to his shelter. There, he shows her his collection of collated items. He hands her a bubble wrapper, light bulb, and Rubik cube, marveling the robot with every object. The duo watches a movie on his media player and even dances for a while, after which he shows her his new seedling. Eve promptly scans the plant using her sensor, and her radar instantly turns green, thus signifying that she has been in search of a plant this entire time. She retrieves the seedling and sends a signal into space as she goes into standby mode. Wall E tries to revive her, but all his efforts prove abortive, much to the Earth robot's dismay. The following day, he heads to work and leaves Eve at the shelter. Hours later, the ground shakes and Wall E spots the aircraft from earlier landing at his home. He races to it and watches as the spaceship grabs a dormant Eve and keeps her in a pod alongside other similar shaped bots. Wall E bids his pet cockroach goodbye and hangs onto the aircraft before takeoff. The ship launches into the atmosphere and breaks into space. The foreign environment throws Wall E off as he drifts from the ship. But luckily, the robot regains his grip and holds on tightly as the ship blasts past the moon and stars. Eventually, it reaches and enters the Axiom, the same mothership humans have lived in for centuries. The aircraft parks in a waiting station and offloads Eve, alongside the other bots, as they undergo an examination process. A machine scans the bots and discovers that Eve has a plant specimen in her cabinet. It sets off an alarm, prompting a group of cyborgs to hurriedly take her from the room. Wally -E follows them and finds himself in a hallway full of machines. He makes his way past them and soon spots a crowd of humans. 
Wall-E is instantly astonished by their chubby physique and soon discovers their new way of life. It turns out that humans no longer work or complete basic activities on their own as they are fully assisted by robots. They live solely on sugary drinks and do not incorporate healthy foods or veggies into their diet. This sedentary lifestyle and unhealthy diet, coupled with space's low gravity, has led to a total change in their anatomy. The average human is now fat with an extremely low bone mass and density. Wall-E closely tails Eve and runs into two humans on his way, whom he makes friends with. Eventually, he sees Eve being ushered into the ship's control room and swiftly follows her. There, McCree, the Axiom's captain, with the help of the ship's robotic wheel, Auto, conducts a daily routine check on the aircraft. After all systems have been cleared, McCree delivers a speech from his office to the entire ship via a series of projected screens. The captain announces that it has been exactly 700 years since humans have evacuated the Earth. Though multiple generations have lived and died since then, he congratulates the passengers for making it thus far. Before McCree can conclude his speech, Otto informs him of Eve's presence, stating that she has returned with a seedling. The captain is perplexed by the announcement as no robot has ever returned from Earth with a plant. He consults his automated manual, which instantly plays an old video about this exact situation. A man pops up on the screen and explains that the retrieval of a plant from Earth implies that the planet has become inhabitable. Hence, he instructs the captain to put the seedling into a hollow detector, which would immediately steer the ship back home. A few seconds later, Eve wakes up and spots Wall E. She is shocked to see her Earth friend on the Axiom and quickly hides him in a corner. Meanwhile, McCree authorizes the ship's AI to obtain the seedling from Eve. The cyborg swiftly opens her cabinet, but they are astonished to find it empty. In light of this, McCree assumes that Eve has a faulty program and has her sent to the diagnostic center. As she leaves, Wall E approaches the captain and shakes him. McCree stares at his hand and discovers a mass of dirt in it. Seeing this, he sends Wall E to the diagnostic center alongside Eve. When the bots leave, McCree analyzes the dirt and discovers that it comes from Earth. He gets fascinated by it and goes down a rabbit hole, researching multiple details about the planet. The captain eventually becomes mesmerized by his findings and vows to return home. In the following scene, Eve and the Earth robot finally arrive at the center. Wall E is confined in a cell for faulty bots, while Eve is conveyed to a repair ward. She is taken good care of, but Wall E mistakes her repairs for torture and charges in to rescue her. In the process, he fires an energy blast that damages the controls and releases all the faulty devices. This act causes them to be marked as rogue bots, and the duo is quickly pursued by the other machines. Eve is pissed at Wally -E for causing a nuisance, but she still saves him from the pursuing cyborgs. Eventually, she takes him to an exit room and puts him in an escape pod returning to Earth. However, before the pod takes off, they hear a cyborg approaching and quickly hide to avoid getting caught. Right then, they see Otto's henchman, Gofor, stashing the missing plant in the pod as he sets the aircraft to self-destruct. When he leaves, Wall-E rushes into the pod to retrieve the plant for Eve, but he gets locked in and sent into space. The self-destruct countdown soon begins, and Wall-E panics as he frantically pushes the ship's buttons to no avail. Meanwhile, Eve rushes into an emergency escape pod and chases after him. Moments later, she witnesses the pod blow up and instantly halts in shock as she believes that Wall-E and the plant are gone. Devastated, Eve charges towards the explosion to find their remains, but is stunned to find Wall-E alive and well. The Earth robot opens his cabinet and reveals the recovered seedling, which he hands over to her. Eve is delighted to see the plant and promptly retrieves it as she hugs Wall-E to show her gratitude. The couple butts head together and ignite a spark that stuns the Earth robot, causing him to swoon around. Wall-E soon regains his composure, and the duo re-enters the Axiom as they hide from a pair of police bots who are searching for them. Eve conceals the Earth robot with some paper towels and abandons him as she charges into McCree's room. The captain is stunned to see her and celebrates when she hands him the recovered seedling. McCree initially orders Otto to place the plant in the hollow detector, but he has a change of heart and decides to do it himself. However, as he moves towards it, Otto stops him and tries to steal the plant. Confused, McCree asks the robot what he's doing. In response, Otto reveals that he has a directive to stop humans from returning to Earth and plays an old video to give context. 
It turns out that seven centuries ago, the ex-leader of the Axiom predicted that the Earth would no longer have the capacity to sustain life. Hence, they abandoned the planet's cleanup program and stopped sending machines to dispose of its pilling waste. The former leader also established an override directive in Auto's program, which instructs the cyborg to prevent any attempt at returning to Earth. After the video stops, McCree explains to Otto that the directive is outdated as the seedling signifies that life is now sustainable on Earth. However, the cyborg ignores him and has his henchman, Geo-4, steal the plant from the captain. The henchman quickly throws the plant in a trash chute as Eve and the captain exclaim in horror. Luckily, their fear is short-lived as Wall-E emerges from the chute holding the recovered seedling. He puts the plant in his cabinet, but Otto instantly attacks and electrocutes Wall-E, causing him to plummet down the trash chute. Eve tries to intervene, but she is forcefully shut down by the rogue cyborg and put into the chute as well. The duo lands in a trash dump and are compressed, alongside the refuse, into an air chamber. Suddenly, the chamber's doors open, and the couple is nearly sucked into space. Fortunately, a cleaning robot who had been following Wall-E's dirt trail arrives in time and saves them. Eve reunites with Wall-E, but soon discovers that he is badly damaged and needs a new circuit board. She searches the trash dump for a replacement, but can't find any. Eventually, Wall-E calls her attention and explains that he has multiple spare parts in his Earth shelter. Hearing this, Eve becomes determined to place the seedling in the hollow detector to steer the Axiom back home and save Wall E. She flies him out of the trash dump, and the duo returns to the common area. They are immediately met by resistance as the police bots chase and corner them. Fortunately, the faulty cyborgs Wall E, freed from the diagnostic center, come to their aid. The machines collectively join forces and manage to take down the resisting bots. At the other end of the ship, Otto imprisons McCree in his room. The captain lies helplessly for a while, but soon figures out an escape plan. Using a screen, he tricks the cyborg into thinking he has the plant. Otto comes to his room to check it out, but McCree quickly pounces on him and escapes his confines. The duo tussles for a while, but the robot eventually throws him off. Once free, Otto closes the hollow detector and tilts the ship, which causes all the humans to slide across the floor. Wall E sees the closing hollow detector and uses himself as a wedge to stop it from fully shutting. Sadly, the weight of the machine crushes him and destroys many of his parts. Right then, McCree gets on his feet and attacks Otto as he manually shuts down the rogue cyborg for good. Eve seizes the opportunity and quickly places the plant in the hollow detector, ultimately returning the ship to Earth. On getting to the planet, Wall E's pet roach welcomes them, and Eve instantly rushes the severely damaged bot to his shelter. She hurriedly searches his shelves for the needed parts and uses them to fix him in a flash. Wall E regains consciousness, but sadly loses his personality and memories as he looks at Eve with a blank stare. She tries her best to return his memories, but all her efforts prove futile. Devastated, she emotionally holds his hand and butts heads with him, which ignites a spark. This gesture juggles his memories, and Wall E regains his personality as they gently butt heads once more. In the closing scene, the humans finally exit the ship and transplant the seedling to the new ground. Months later, the plant multiplies, and new vegetation grows again as the Earth gradually returns to its fertile and life-sustaining form. Subscribe to see more videos like this, turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Don't forget to watch our upcoming next videos. Thanks for watching.